And welcome back to Jeff Kanagi live at the Terrace Restaurant of the Intercontinental Hotel. Barack Maluka, Senator Hassan, Omar Hassan on the bench with me. And your tweets are really coming in thick and fast. I apologize. I haven't been able to read many of them because this conversation is really serious. We're trying to get as many points across. But let me read one real quick. Miss Rachel, you say, what happened to Hassan Omar, the level-headed human rights activist? This is what power does to people. And you've been complaining that I keep cutting you off. Talk now. Talk. Because even your people don't want you to come on this show for some reason. Talk. <laughs> I mean, I think there are general expectations people have out there for, about you. I, I believe in terms of the main agenda that, and the focus that, uh, that, put, that put us to, to the Senate. Uh, we have not lost cause. We, we, we stay in the cause. We still have the focus. Uh, and I, I, I work within a larger, a larger political arrangement. And I, and I play sometimes to, to that, that collective responsibility. And I think uh, if anybody expected that I was going to be some kind of a lukewarm, lame duck kind of a politician, that was not going to happen. I totally believe things must change in this country. And I, whether you, dis you disagree with my strategies, I, I respect your opinion to disagree. But I do believe that these strategies that have been adopted, part of which we have contributed to the conceptualization, I will be part and parcel of that whole uh, array of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, soldiers or foot soldiers who take part to, to ensure full realization. Are you done? I don't want to cut you off. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Barack, before the break, I asked the question, what if there's some imminent arrest in the coming days? Will that play into Cord's agenda? I think uh, anyone who goes out to arrest uh, Cord leaders makes a very major blunder. First, we have uh, freed the space. The people need to go out and to express themselves as robustly as possible. We expect also that uh, those people will do so in a manner that shows that uh, they not only respect others, they not only respect other institutions, but they also respect themselves. Because there's a way in which uh, you prosecute your agenda and you actually undermine your own uh, dignity and your own rating. That we would uh, not expect of our court leaders. But if uh, for some reason, uh, Kimai or Lenku or whoever went out and uh, started uh, arresting uh, uh, court leaders, they'll be playing right into their hands. In fact, sometimes when you listen to them, you get the impression that they are spoiling for that kind of heroism, that they want somebody to arrest them and put them away so that uh, then they, that can fan up the tempo even. I think it would be foolish, uh, folly of the highest uh, order yeah. to try and arrest them. Senator, your leader says he doesn't mind getting arrested. He would you like to? I mean, uh, as I, I totally concur with what uh, uh, Barak said. I think uh, what is being done is within the purview of the Constitution and the rule of law and uh, nothing uh, even if you might not like the rallies, the, the scale of the rallies, um, the frequency of the rallies that you feel you must be left to lead the country because you have to be in peace. I think uh, the opposition or any other Kenyan is uh, well mandated under the constitution uh, to undertake these activities. So it is not a question of discretion of when you like them and what time you want them to, to happen. It's a question of uh, the democratic institutions and the democratic rights that are secured in the constitution. I, 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 I will say that more, quite a number of the court leaders have, uh, have uh, undergone what is called baptism by fire. Mm. So I, 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 I don't think Raila uh, necessarily would love to be arrested. But I, all, I, all I think is that I think that, uh, um, you see, when you put somebody into, the, into custody once or twice, they lose the fear. You see, yeah, well, so yeah, think, yes, so, that, that, that's why he so, would like so, to be... So I think, I think what happens is, uh, my, my, my general view is, um, I would agree that um, the, 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 uh, the, the leadership must exercise the responsibility mm. to allow the democratic process to take its course. Okay. Um, come July the 7th, and you guys are keeping to this agenda, aren't you? There's no turning back. I think uh, the, uh, it was uh, made very clear today that we'll go, we'll go ahead with the rallies. And I want to assure Kenyans that I think this, uh, unless some opportunists want to take advantage of the, the, the July 7th uh, activities, unless someone wants to, 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 to create a scene that discredits the court coalition, as far as we're concerned, the activities will, 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 be, will be 
uh, peaceful. It will be within the realm of the Constitution. Yeah. And I think everything that will be done will be by the book. We, we also have to, have to appreciate that there are quite a, quite a level of sophistication in the coalition to understand what the law says and to, to do things within the realm of the Constitution. Okay, another thing that's been happening in your rallies is the vitriol directed at the Cabinet Secretary for the Interior. Everything from calling him that cook from Utali, who's only good for chapatis and mahamris. I mean, that, I could play that tape over and over again. I mean, the vitriol, Senator, against this one man. And then the calls for him to be sacked. Uh, you know, if, uh, if you see me personally, I'm, I'm usually very reluctant to criticize on the length. When I was telling you before the show, not because that I, do not, I care a lot about the country's insecurity, but if you take me as a lawyer and expect me to, to perform a heart surgery on Barak Buluka, it is likely that you'll get him dead. Hey. So, uh, in, in a sense that I'm trying to metaphorically to say that a lawyer cannot, conduct, cannot, cannot, cannot protect to a heart surgery. And I think what we did, we, we, did, we had uh, 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 President Kenyatta and William Ruto told us they were interviewing, sifting through CVs. So they kept interviewing people. I think they had the opportunity to, to appoint someone consummate to the task at hand. And I think it was, uh, unfortunately, uh, we, uh, Ole Lenku is incapable of running the docket of security. And those of us who are criticizing him are not crit are criticizing him on the current situation, but without hindsight, yeah. that he or should not have been given that job in the first place. And I think it's just honorable for him to take a walk now because I think uh, the vitriol, as you put it, against him, yeah. not only from the court coalition, I, I think from everybody across the board has, mm. been, has been enormous. Before we go to you, you uh, Barak, real quick, we have Onyango calling from Nairobi. Onyango, you are live on JKL. Talk to me. Hello. Hello. Yeah, thank Good. you, Jeff. I'm in the Sahara and I'm part of I think I have to send my comments and I want to contribute to the discussion. First and foremost, if the government had intelligence that there was political members on the ground, why did they wait until 50 or more people die? Secondly, let's not politicize the community. Because we are heightened political tension to the country. Number two, the government must wake up to the reality that it gives a serious security harm to the country. And the position must also set the responsibility of authorities. But that does not mean they are refused their constitutional rights and mandate to have political rights. Okay, Onyango. Thank you, Onyango. Appreciate that. Barack, if the government had intelligence. Uh, you see, uh, where I want to agree again with the uh, senator here, that uh, we cannot reduce this problem uh, to Lenku. Uh, I don't uh, agree with him that uh, the fact that uh, Lenku has uh, been in the hotel industry, that uh, therefore he doesn't uh, have the ability and the capacity to hold that uh, office. Uh, Daniel Arab Moy uh, was uh, a primary school uh, teacher, and for a long time he was a minister for internal security and uh, we were not uh, being uh, attacked. In fact, uh, when Moi was uh, a minister for home affairs, we had uh, the shifter uh, saga during uh, those years and uh, things never got to this point. I think the problem before us is systemic. It doesn't matter who you place there, you're still going to have these problems. And that's why we need dialogue and we must create the right environment for dialogue that it's not about heroism, that code leaders must get off the horse of heroism, that it's not about intransigence, that jubilee leaders must get off the horse of intransigence, and we must create the right environment for dialogue. It's about this country, that uh, jubilee leaders cannot be telling us that we, we, we were elected, leave us alone, we, we want to govern. 
who are you governing if you are not going to talk to us? You must create that space and talk to us and talk to the leaders in the opposition, mm. as we stated earlier. But the leaders of the opposition must also respect our institutions, that their fellow, the, the, the person they are caricaturing is not uh, just uh, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. He actually occupies one of uh, the most important institutions uh, in this country, the presidency, if you cannot respect the, the individual, respect at least the institution. And when the president tells you, my brother, come, let's have a cup of tea in State House, you have uh, said you want us to have dialogue, that uh, invitation, and my bro here has been talking about symbols and metaphors and so on, that invitation to that cup of tea does not mean that that cup of tea is the dialogue. That is the breaking of the ice, the breaking of the ground. And I think that uh, Raila Odinga, Kalonzo Msioka, uh, my brother Moses Wetangla, and the entire brigade that advises them, including my brother here, must uh, accept the invitation to a cup of tea. And they must use that as an opportunity to break the ground because this country must start moving forward. Senator, there's nothing wrong with that cup of tea and that talk? I, I think the, the manner in which it was, uh, it was, the invitation was relayed was derogatory. And I think... Um, I what think man, the, man, the, the manner in which it was asked for. The manner in which it was asked for. What happens is, uh, it's, it's so simple. Uh, you know, the, uh, the, 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 the Barak. We are in the opposition, political opposition. Yeah, but you, you must start looking you like a good you, government you, you, in we waiting. Are, we, are, we are a very excellent government. No, you are not. Uh, we, we, we are the citizens. And, and there are a lot of people out there. And, we, and, and we are the citizens and, and, and we, think, we think, think differently. So there are a lot of people yeah. who think differently. It depends on the political so, persuasion. You might be in court so you think just in terms of your people. Senator, the way it was raised in court before Notwithstanding, but I'm now in court and I am a... I'm 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 a... It doesn't make any difference, you see, but you have to ascribe to the agenda that court tries to ascribe to it. Not, try to not, understand, no, no, try to not understand when it is it. saying a revolution. Try to understand it. Because you have not even taken the time as a court member to try and interrogate the issues. Because you the leader know, comes time, uh, to the it, country so and he goes here and calls for a, 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 a revolution and you follow him, you, 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 you go and ask You go and ask the leader. You, 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 you pushed off the invitation a long time ago. You see, I've looked at you, I've listened to you. And I agree with you on a, yeah. on a number of things, but yeah. you see, let, let, let's let's take let's take let's call a spoon a, a spade a spade. Gentlemen, we don't need to outline who's more corded than Absolutely. the other. The question the was, whole, the whole Senator, if Senator, the question ideas, was, you, you can you, always. But let me ask you, you know, he can go uh, if, if he's a court member. There are channels within the court uh, within the court structure. But you didn't. Like, you can interrogate an agenda. But you didn't so like you the way cannot, the president. You cannot come constantly and say, "Oh, I was not consulted." Consulted. A lot of other, the, the, that's why they, we have these values. That's why we have the participation of the people. That's why we have lined up programs for so, consultation. So that's, that's why. why we that's want why there are so many other avenues of consultation. You should just come and get the agenda. You get the program, and you understand what code wants to do and how it intends to involve its membership even in terms of crystallizing ideas but i think what what we need to do moving forward is uh, is to also advise ourselves to to moderate you know both, the, both sides the demeanor yeah I, I i agree maybe you know sometimes if you if you if you exchange vulgaries in public domain uh, the president feels under, is under pressure, says one thing, then uh, we go to a, a political rally and say another thing. Possibly, there's a way in which we need to start bridging the gap. And I think you, you made reference to the social media. We've been referring to a social media even as, yes, as we yes. go forward mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. I think we hardly move an inch. I'm looking at the comments. You look at the names that are saying anything against me. It is, it, is, it is obvious. You look at the names that are for me, it is obvious that we have not moved an inch. And I, what we are doing is simply to safeguard our territory, political territory. And I think what, what, what needs to be done now is to, is to get that statesman or stateswoman for that matter who will take that bold step, you know, climb down the egos, climb down the rhetoric, climb down whatever else that, uh, that you know, uh, that, uh, that puts us in the situation that we are in and try to, to take, you know, progressive steps towards ensuring that we mitigate the many, the vulgarities that, are, that, that have polarized us so deeply. Mm. And you can see, I look at my social media. Every time I get a printout, I'm comfortable. I say, oh, this guy's involved for me, and they keep saying these things. These guys are still on our side. And I think that's not how we want the country. This country is almost divided half and half. Almost 50% was, was did not vote for the president. So I think it's important as a country comes out of such a brutal, ruthless poli political pro process to start you know, swallowing 
the pride and saying that, you know, we need to build a nation called Kenya. But Senator, you just mentioned that the way the president offered that cup of tea wasn't in the way you all would have liked it. So let me ask you this question. Who's going to be the bigger man? Who is the bigger man out of these two? Because you know when two elephants fight, mm. it is the grass that suffers. I think, I think what happens is I will ask on, ask on both sides. Uh, maybe on both. Uh, I, 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 some of us do believe now it's time to tell to cool, to cool down the, the flares in, in code. And some of us have taken progressive steps to try and tell them, cool down the flares. And, and, and I hope there will be leaders of that type also in Jubilee. So that then I think we, we need to create the framework upon which these, these talks will, or this dialogue needs to be conducted. And let us sell it to, the, to, to, to our colleagues in a manner that apparently appears to appeal to them. Because I think, uh, we, I, I read the story of the Pharaoh, in, in, in the, I think it's also in the Bible. When God sent, um, uh, Moses to the Pharaoh, he told him to go uh, in, a, in, a, in a strategic way, uh, in, uh, with, uh, with the good language and good demeanor. So I think what we need to do is to, to simply, uh, in, this, in this kind of a situation, to reach out in a manner that is acceptable to everybody so that we can now come to a table of negotiation. Yeah. But the country as it stands right now, I, I personally as an poli elected political leader, I know if I was to run in a, for an election in Mombasa, I would still win. But that is not mm. the end game. The end game is about how we bridge the, the, the embers of, uh, of, of hatred. In this case, who's Moses and who's Pharaoh? Don't answer. Don't answer. <laughs> it's obvious. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, let me ask you this yes, real quick. Yes, yes. Has the dialogue between these two, I mean the president and court leader, Raila Odinga, has it reached a point of no return? Or can one of them be the better man? They. Make that phone call, invite the other, let's sit down, let's chat. Just the two of they, us, they, they, none they, of these they, other folks. They have no choice, the two of them. In the interest of this country, they have no choice but to create space, to create the right atmosphere for dialogue. That uh, a lot of things have gone wrong. We are under the assault of a, a common enemy. Instead of uh, getting together to ask ourselves how we confront this enemy, we are apportioning blame and uh, trading insolence and uh, parodying each other and saying very bad things of uh, one another and the enemy is taking advantage of that uh, opportunity. I agree with the senator he is saying the right things. There are things uh, which I trust that uh, the leaders there in Jubilee and in Cod are also uh, hearing. The president seemed to have uh, initially brought down uh, the temperatures when uh, he said first of june in the first of june mm -hmm. that uh, if my brothers uh, have an agenda let them bring it mm -hmm. so what happened what happened when uh, he went to state house and uh, some people came from uh, nowhere uh, i say nowhere because uh, there are people whom ordinarily i would not even expect that uh, they would be addressing the nation from state house there's only one person who should address uh, the nation and the world from state house and that is the head of state the other people find uh, their own platforms which are less and equal to their status and these people are now speaking from state house and reversing what the head of state has said mm. i think that is uh, wrong so he needs to go back to his script at uh, Uhuru Park and say this is the way we want it to be done. Mm. And uh, Raila in, 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 in your stadium, mm. yes. And, and, and Raila Odinga and his colleagues uh, in court must also know that the country is greater than uh, any other agenda that they might have. And if uh, they genuinely, legitimately care for this country, everybody must uh, be humble. They must eat the humble pie and accept the, to place the country mm. ahead of everything and let's have the dialogue. Absolutely. Senator, just so that you, uh, you come to the next interview, I invite you to and your, coll uh, your I, colleagues I, will probably tell you not to come, but Jeff, I always come. Always come. I, 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 you always come I, I, under yes. duress and protest. I, 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 have, I have no, I, personally, I, I am independent minded. I do not fear to express my views. I sometimes also do not fear to when, when there's something that is wrong. Yeah. Uh, to, to, to get the critique and the feedback Good. from the public. You got 60 seconds. You get the last word. I think moving forward, I am, I'm hopeful. But I think we need to now raise about politicization and politics. 
uh, in the strictest sense. We are all politicians, but we need to now, you know, moderate the political circumstance, uh, atmosphere in the country, and we need to see how we can bridge uh, the, 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 the the gap and the differences that I that, that, that appear to be widening ever. And I think let's let's serve the Kenyan people as a unit. Let us not uh, tribalize them. Let's not politicize them. Let's not coordinate them. Let's not jubilantize them. Uh, I think uh, we we still hold our our base is very dear but i think in terms of moving forward we must now invest in posterity yeah indeed it's not for us it's for those who come after us isn't it that's what guides all my actions <laughs> senator hassan omar hassan thank you very thanks much. for your time my brother mm. barack m thank you Santa Sana. Oh, thank, thank you, Barry. Uh, you know, I'm, um, I'm more interested in the mannerisms of Jeff Kwanamba than how I'm in public speaking. Thanks for your time, gentlemen. And let's keep talking. I keep saying this out. We have to keep talking. And it's 18 days to July the 7th. Let's see if we could uh, make some sense out of all this madness. What do you say? Total concurrence. <laughs> Let's keep talking, folks. A sober conversation about whether this is the Kenya we want. Think about it going forward. And like we keep saying, this is not about us. It's not about one individual. It's Kenya first, everything else second. Is anybody out there listening? Tomorrow night, same time, same place. It's not all about doom and gloom here in Kenya, believe it or not. Tomorrow, and I'm not just talking about the Euro bond, which is doing fantastically well. Well done, everyone who's involved. Next week, a huge conference here in Nairobi, bringing together three, 4,000 people from around the world, all 193 member nations of the United Nations, coming to town for the first ever United Nations Environmental Assembly. We're going to talk to the two top folks at UNEP and UNON tomorrow night talk about some good news which we could all do with right now keep tweeting at barack m at hassan omar h at koinanga jeff the hashtag is jkl by the way spain is losing two nil to chile just in case you were wondering the game continues and so does the show thanks so much for joining us good night good luck Thank you, Jeff.